Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, Chad here, Pack to the Future podcast. I have a couple of reveals, two with PSA, one with SGC, that I want to show to you. As you might expect, the PSA submissions were submitted, well, uh, just about a year ago, and then the SGC were just over a month ago. So the comparison of turnaround times is about what you would expect. Um, so... Let's just go ahead and begin. I tried to rank these with a little more exciting towards the back, but excitement is in the eye of the beholder. So number one is the 2019 Spectra Celestial Donovan Mitchell. This one got a nine. I do have a PSA 10 in the same card. I really like the look of Spectra. I've always thought that the value never really quite got up there with the likes of some of the other products, but for me, it's something I enjoy. I'll hang on to this card you're not going to get much value out of this right now with the PSA 9, number to 99. So, good looking card to get us started. Oh boy, just when you thought you were done hearing me talk about Drew Locke. You guys remember this, this was a year ago that I submitted this card. Blue Prism, rookie, PSA 10. The concourse level, number to 175. It's a good looking card, good looking rookie card. Who knows what is going to become of Drew Locke's career, if anything, other than than a backup. So, uh, yeah, not much else to say there. Next up, when I dabbled with Hoops Premium Stock last year, I got a couple of boxes for Christmas of 2020, immediately submitted the cards. I'm filming this in December, so we're about a full year turnaround time. RJ Barrett Flash, love the photo. PSA 9. Um, good looking card. Maybe the centering's off a little bit. I don't know. You know, early on with my submissions with PSA, I felt like I had a pretty good understanding. I mean, maybe that back corner's a little off. I thought I had a pretty good understanding of what would be a 9 compared to a 10. And as time has gone on, my percentage has of guessing correctly has just gone down 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 are you guys experiencing the same thing with finding it difficult to predict if so leave a comment below okay this card was fun i found this in a cardboard box going through some of my things that were in my parents basement 1996 upper deck collector's choice kobe bryant nine would have liked to have had a 10 with this one but hey when you find it in your basement you can't be too picky Centering's pretty good. Top to bottom looks good. Corners look good. Surface, I think, looks good. I don't know. Either way, it's a nine. Cool looking card. Boy, I didn't notice this till now. Kobe has a brace on his left arm. Huh. Anyone know what that came from? Wasn't there when he hard signed my upper deck card in 1996. I can tell you that. I would have loved to have seen his high school stats back there. That would have been cool. Anyway, 96 Collector's Choice Kobe Bryant Rookie. There are a lot of those. There's over a 1,000 of those PSA 9s. Next two cards. I really like these Collector's Choice cards, the triple cards. We talked about triple cards on our podcast, Pack to the Future podcast. I believe it was episode 88. Go check that out if you want to hear about it. But, I mean, what a trio for a Kobe Bryant Rookie card. And you get a Kevin Garnett second year. You get Jermaine O'Neal. I really like it. This one, obviously, the centering isn't great. That one's an 8. Centering on this one isn't great as well. Also an 8, but boy, I just... I love the trio that they picked. And these cards are going to stay stay with me. I really like those Collector's Choice cards. All right, another card that I picked up Christmas time last year. Zion. Winter. It's kind of cool. A lean, mean Zion. That one's a 10. I like the look of it. Good looking card. It'll be interesting to see what's going to happen with Zion in the future. I mean, what is his career going to be? What's his legacy going to be in this league? I think he's really at a critical moment right now with injury. And of course, his, you know, his stamina. 
how in shape he is has certainly been called into question. It'll be interesting to see how this video holds up with, with time and Zion's legacy. I mean, a couple years from now, is this card going to be obsolete? Who knows? I mean, it is hoops, so. All right, another one that I pulled last year, Tribute Premium Stock. This one's Pulsar of Jaw. Boy, is he playing well. PSA 10. So that, that's a good card. Enjoy the color. Really like those old school Grizzly throwback unis too. So that, that's a good looking card. I like that one a lot. Boy, he averaged 24 points per game with Murray State. It's impressive. All right, another card that I found in a cardboard box from my parents' basement. 98, Collector's Choice, Peyton Manning, rookie, PSA 9. I believe that there are different variations of this card and that the bottom of the card looks a bit different, but I don't know what they are. If you know, want to leave a comment below. I'd love to hear from you. I just haven't researched it. <laughs> Peyton had a, a negative 130 rushing yards with Tennessee. <laughs> That's pretty funny. So I enjoy that card quite a bit. I'll, I'll be keeping this Peyton in his collection. Boy, that hairline sure receded with time, didn't it? I know a little something about that. All right, next one. Back when everyone was submitting Prism Base, including myself, Donovan Mitchell, PSA 9. It is what it is. There's probably several thousand of these out there. Still a cool card. Um... Still love Donovan. Doesn't crack my top 20. This will stay on in my collection until I can trade it for something else. All right, next card I picked up at the card shop. I believe I bought it for about $70 raw last year, so I can kind of tell you where things are. I think my personal belief and my hope is that Russell Wilson will move on from Seattle next year. My hope, my homer hope, is that he joins with the Broncos. But I still feel that he has good years left in him, despite the down year this year. Nonetheless, 2012 Topps Chrome, rookie, PSA 9. And I had a pretty good feeling this one would be a 9. There's a surface blemish on here somewhere that I recall. It could be up by that football. Nonetheless, fun card to have. And I'll hold on to this one. Okay, this one I picked up at the card shop raw as well to submit. Love the color scheme. This one's 2009 LeBron James Mirror Red, numbered to 250. And I just love that the red matched the color scheme with LeBron. It's an earlier LeBron card, obviously not his rookie year, but this one got a 9. Hoping for a 10, as we all do. Number 12 out of 250. Just a good looking card. I like it. All right, this next card's fun. I think you guys are going to enjoy this one. 1996 was right around the time I got out of collecting. Now, this card I picked up raw at the card shop. I didn't know what it was. But when I had pulled it up on eBay, you know, I saw that there weren't many that were purchased. So it had me thinking this card was pretty rare. So it's a 1996 medal. Net Rages, Kevin Garnett. Now, these cards can be very difficult anytime you've got any type of abnormal edges because it doesn't take much for those edges to be dinged. And then you get a little bit of a foil card. It makes it tough. But I was really happy that this card was graded a 9. Now, Kevin Garnett's never been high up on my list Funny story, I pulled a Kevin Garnett Topps Finest rookie card out of a pack of cards. This is, I mean, when he was a rookie. And ended up trading it for like a base Shaquille O'Neal insert to Adam, the real 27 guy. And he held on to that card for a while. And always he always held that one over my head that he, he definitely got the better end of the deal because he was always a Kevin Garnett fan. And I just never was. But this one I'm going to hang on to. I really like this. Pop count's low. It's a fun insert. It's a good looking card. So that one's pretty fun. We're going to keep that one there. So that does it for the PSA submission part. Again, the cards took about a year to come back. 
obviously you can see some of the cards I decided to send in, like Drew Locke. I mean, woof right now, right? But some of the other ones are still fun. They still look good in case my percentage of 10s was really quite low and there's only a few cards that I predicted accurately on what the grade would be which makes it a little bit more nerve-wracking to submit now whether it's $150 a card $100 a card or whatever it may be in the future so that's it for the PSA side I have three cards from SGC I submitted these just over a month ago so the turnaround time was still quite quick but these cards are fun there's only three of them First one's a 61 Fleer Rod Hunley. Now I picked this card up at a card show. Rod Hunley, obviously basketball player, but I knew him best as Utah Jazz play-by-play -play announcer. The gentle push to the mile arc and the cowhide globe hits home. You know, as a kid, as a jazz fan, Rod Hunley is, is what you knew. So Hot Rod was a really fun card to find. This I, I definitely don't do a lot of vintage, but this one is a lot of fun. Just wanted to get it cased up. So I don't care that it's a three. I think it looks great. Second one, decided to send in one of my many Jerry Judy cards that I picked up last year. Now this one, even though it's Prism, it came out of Chronicles. And that's why you get that black up top here. But it is still gold and it is still numbered to 10. And this one got it 9.5. I love the black border with the black background of the card. I think it looks great. Really happy with the grade as well. See there, 8 out of 10. You can see Chronicles down there at the bottom. Jerry Judy not having the season that I had hoped he would in 2021. But hey, that's what happens when your quarterback can only throw the ball 8 yards downfield. So last card. I had mentioned that 2012 NFL Prism silvers were some cards that I was chasing after and quarterbacks were really the ones I was looking at but one popped up on my eBay list a few months back one that I thought would be pretty pretty interesting to have in the long run and that's Adrian Peterson I thought boy oh boy a lot of these 2012 silvers left to right centering was difficult but this one looks pretty darn good I couldn't see any surface issues with it Love the color of it. Wasn't willing to pay the $150, which was the lowest service at PSA at the time. So I went with SGC and the card looks great. And you know what? I got my first gem. Gem Mint 10. This card I'm very excited to have. I like that. So, those are my three favorites that I've got laid out here. Hope you enjoyed this submission reveal. I'll still have a few more that'll be coming back in in the future. But let me let me know what you guys think about the video. I mean, there were some questions out there. The Kobe cast on the collector's choice. The Net Rages that I just don't know much about, but I think is a pretty prominent insert set. Um, the NFL Silver submitting to SGC. Their turnaround time's great. I love their customer service as well. Then the Rod Hunley. So hope that you guys enjoyed this. If you don't already, please go download and listen to our podcast, Pack to the Future Podcast. You can find it anywhere podcasts are. Please like and subscribe the video. If you have a comment, please leave it below, and we'll talk to you later.